Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome to another episode of Expeditions Playthrough. I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, we are approaching the end of the Arizona government missions, which will, I think, unlock uh, another connection to an another map within Arizona. We're still in Arizona for quite a while, yeah. These maps are absolutely huge. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So let's remind ourselves of the mission and decide what vehicles we're going to take. Um, in order to preserve it is a mission that requires an off-road truck, and there is a reason for that, and that's because we need to carry portable meteor stations, two of them, which is cargo. Cargo is not inventory. Cargo is something that has to go on, for example, a flatbed. Um, it's a different category of storage. We also need to take a mechanic as a specialist. I'm happy to take Mike. He's quite useful. And we will unlock the hydrologist. Hydrologist is somebody that eliminates engine damage underwater, which is... If you go into certain areas, arguably very useful. Uh, it also unlocks the warehouse, a module that we can then buy, and gives us a emergency reserve medium, which is very useful. Uh, it's like an upgrade for a vehicle, which gives you more more reserve, like uh, parts and that kind of thing. And the gateway to Coconino. Usual thing, do, da do less damage. However, it's down to 100, not 200 this time. Uh, so let's configure the, the trucks. First of all, we'll chuck Mike in because we have to bring Mike, the mechanic. Uh, we could bring somebody else if we wanted to. I don't think we need to. We're not being paid that much for this mission. Uh, so in terms of vehicles that are off-road, we have the Tuz and we have the Step. The Step is probably a bit overkill. There are two Tuzes, the Action. Uh, and the Action SE, which is this one. This has a slightly more upgraded engine, so we'll grab that. Uh, we will need to put some cargo space in the back, so let's configure this. Uh, let's go to the uh, frame module, and there are two kinds of flatbed. There's like a short flatbed, which is that one, which gives you a cargo space of four, uh, and then there's the this kind of flatbed, which effectively stacks inventory i think so we want this one uh and that then gives us the ability to fill slots which we can take to uh meteo stations and other stuff if we want to so we could for example take a bit of fuel or some spare parts um but they would be counted as cargo not as something we can use to refuel so if we took fuel here it would be jerry cans i think that we can't use to fill the truck i think is how it works but we'll, uh, we'll have to test that. So engines, we have no upgrades. We can possibly take the high-range gearbox, but I don't really like the high-range that much. So we're going to try and see if we can unlock that somewhere. What was the unlock for that? Fine-tune. New areas. To, complete new areas. Okay. Uh, lift kit's not available until we've explored the region and found the upgrade. Um, so have to keep an eye out for that. Average, average, average for those. Good, excellent, and average for those. And then there's the mud tires, which we don't have. So I think it's probably worth grabbing those for 3,000. Sell that for 1,000. So that's a net price of 2K for better tires. Extended winch. Uh, I'd like to say no to that, given that it costs seven grand, which is a lot of money. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. I might regret that decision. And then obviously there is the low-mounted snorkel, which I don't think we need for this mission, but we'll take it anyway. Uh, the emergency reserve is small. This mission will unlock that one. Uh, Bolt-on fenders, which are the wheel arches, which provide slight... I don't think we'll bother with that. Slight crash protection. I'm not into slight protection. We've then got this thing, the rear-mounted rack, which I'd love to have, but we need to unlock it first. But that will give us extra fuel storage spots, which would be fantastic. We do, however, have a roof rack, which we can use for fuel. That is something we'll need if we're going to go venturing further afield, but not in this particular mission. Uh, we then have an option to put a reinforced bumper on the front, uh, or sorry, a big reinforced bumper or a reinforced bumper. Uh, this particular one can carry a wheel. You see it comes with a, a wheel attachment point there for a thousand. That's just a bumper. Uh, then we've got sun visors. We have a heavy one at the moment, um, which we can't use for anything else, but it's there, so we'll just roll with it. Actually, what have we got there? Yeah, we've got it installed now. Stock bumper was that one, which we'll sell. Uh, the rims, all very meh, if you ask me. Um, maybe the red one, perhaps. Um, 
that one, possibly. And then the frame module we've already done. Then we come to the spray, so we'll change it to company colors, if we can find it, which is probably down here somewhere. There we go. And that is more or less it for that one. Inventory-wise, we probably want to be looking at an anchor just in case we get stuck. Uh, notice we have 160 litres of fuel and no extra fuel. So, you know, that's not ideal, is how I would phrase that. Uh, we can deploy with that. Can we take the Costco and deploy? Yes, we can. So we can take a scout as well. Uh, we could, in fact, if he wanted to, bring with us uh, the Don, but without, perhaps, without the metal detector. Did we take him with? Hmm. Arguably useful to have, but not a massive amount of use, I, I don't think. So we'll go without it. Uh, we'll stick an anchor on that as well. Did I put an anchor on that? No, I didn't. Just stick an anchor in there. There we go. And that, I think, is that. I think we are ready to deploy. Now, in terms of where we want to deploy these things, remember we have three outposts now. We have the west outpost, the south outpost, and our normal base. Um, we did spot an upgrade along that coast there. I kind of like to get that, so I think what I want to do... This little Don here, I'm going to send him back to the operation base and see if we can use him for that. Meanwhile, the um, the Action and the Costco, we're going to send here and have a look around and see if we can do the expedition and possibly some tasks on this side of the island because we've not been here before. And the scout, I reckon we can get across that bit and try and flood this out a bit. Okay. Lovely jubbly. Well, first of all, we can start by going scouting. All right, the sun is about to go down a little bit, but I reckon we can just drive up. Oh, ignore that warning. It's because I'm in a vehicle that it says, oh, you don't have the required items that you need, Mr. Squirrel. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so let's drive over here and see if we can spot anything. That's a big slope, but there's nothing on it. Oh, hang on, there's something. All right, there is a bridge that can be built down there, so we could take the scout down there and build that bridge. That would probably allow us to get onto that easternmost block. Other than that, what was that? There is something there as well. Do you see it? Right there. That looks like a possible bridge point over there. That would be that as we were looking at it. I reckon we can start off by chucking the scout down here and hopefully we can build a bridge. So we'll do that before we start doing the actual main mission. In terms of tasks, there's a set over there, a set over there. There's one over here. I'm not too worried about them. There's some ancient knowledge mission. There's core problems. Do you some staffing issues we're in need of an engineer who can fix our drill? Okay, we could start tracking that just to see what he says about it. What's this bit? Uh, resource zone has it's that portable rig or compact version of a normal rig. So that's it. Must be for a different mission. What's this? New, new old friends, 8,800. The area can get pretty rough, but I can show you the ropes around here. Let's take a, a ride. Okay, so that's something else entirely. So that one requires us to visit that, that, and that. So there are three waypoints on this particular island here that will pay out 8,800. That's not insubstantial. That's actually quite decent. It would also give us a good view. I don't know how difficult that is, but these two are not that far away. So maybe we do that as part of this. Let's continue to go down the road to... Let's get the bridge done first. Because we're going to need that anyway. Let's stick the four-wheel drive on. Like a lot of these vehicles, uh, they don't perform very well unless they're in four-wheel drive. It's weird. I mean, two-wheel drive, I suppose, is great when you're on tarmac. 
but you're never on tarmac in this game. <laughs> so, unless you're going downhill, at which point you can save yourself some money, you have to run four-wheel drive and it more or less doubles your fuel burn. This may be one that can upgrade more than once, I don't know. Let's get it upgraded. Deliver supplies, 150. That is quite a lot. But then again, it is a double bridge. And then, sarcastically, for some reason, they decide to build the bridge in two parts. Why is there a load of dust in the sky? They build the bridge in two parts, um, but then stagger them. Just to be super, super annoying. Hang on, let me just stop it from being nighttime. There you go. Yeah. I, I mean, genuinely, why? Why on earth would you ever build a bridge and do that? If you was project manager of that bridge, you would. Go to your engineer. Why the hell have you done that, dude? Just literally pull it to the side so it's in a straight line. My vehicles are going to struggle to get over that. But yeah, it's just one of those developer... I don't know, humour? Is it? Because it makes absolutely no sense. But it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Anyway, that burned a lot of spare parts, but it hasn't locked the ability to get over there now, which I suspect was more or less impossible beforehand. Anyway, let's climb back up and we'll see if we can knock out a few of these um, waypoints that we need to visit old friends with. This particular waypoint is up the hill bar. I assume we get around it this way. What we could do is very quickly fire the drone up. I just want to see what that terrain's like if we went that way. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? So maybe this side is the way to go. I think this is also part of the main expedition mission. Um, this was the observation tower stroke windmill thing that we saw an episode or two back. And we're now here having to deliver stuff to it, I think. Whoa. Stage complete. Looks like you've got a fork in the road is where you should go first. I think... That just triggered the expedition, part of the expedition. We're supposed to be doing it in a off-road vehicle, but we're actually in a scout. It's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, if we stopped following this and had a look at the expedition, yeah, get close to the tower. So the next waypoint is up here. So we're kind of doing them both at, with this vehicle at the moment. How on earth do we get up that? This way? That looks pretty tricky. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We're going to need an anchor to get up this bit. Let's lower the tyre pressure. Let's try and angle it up that slope. And then 
we will deploy an anchor. Okay, slightly the wrong angle. Come on. Up you go. Up you go. Uh. Okay. Interesting. If we got this far, we are stuck on a boulder. We kind of need to go to the right a bit. So basically fall backwards to uh, allow it to move over and then quickly throw the winch out to stop us going all the way back. Right. So this is good. Like, I think part of the nature of this game is exactly what we're doing here, which is do an expedition, but while you're doing it, try and do some of the objectives or even some of the objectives for a contract or a task. You might not do them all, but you, if you're in the right area, you can certainly knock them on the head, you know? Okay, so in order to spot this one, we could start tracking, untrack this one, it will show the expedition, but I can actually see the blue box. But I think it'll want the other vehicle shortly to deploy something. Yeah. So, we'll scan that. Not really sure what's going on. <laughs> it's like one of those robot arms that moves a camera around, you know, for a film. It's just weird. There's the staircase. Up the staircase, here's the flat bit. Over the flat bit, there's the tower. What was all that? Despite the fact the tower's broken, it's still majestic and beautiful, okay? Uh, what's left on that expedition, then? Take a closer look at the tower. There's something down the hill, though, that it wants doing. Right, we're in the scout. We're going to focus on this. We're going to head over there, if we can. Can we get down this way? Yes, we can. Coming down is so much easier. So we just took damage on the tires because I left them in a low pressure because I wanted to uh, get up this rock bit, but I drove too quickly and that then damages the tires. Right, so that's two. And the final spot to visit is that one there. So here's the big question. How on earth do we get there? I think the obvious bet is come down here Drive through that airdrop and see what we can see. I think maybe if we go to the edge here and then use the Barnox to look that way, we should at least get a better look at the topology of the land. That's the airdrop down there. And if you look in that direction, I think we want to be up there somewhere. Or maybe where that tree is. Okay, there's a bridge. And some kind of objective discovered. It's 
So there is some arguments to be made for going across the top. It's hard to see how elevated this is. Um, I think all we can do is just wing it. Let's just go down this valley and see what we're dealing with. I'm not going to go that way because that looks really messy and rocky and stuff. I think I'm going to try and find it better way down to be honest none of these ways look great okay that's about as good as it could have got without doing some anchor and slow walk down Looks like a dried up riverbed, doesn't it? Like, looks like a lot of water normally flows through here. Uh, let's, whoa, 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 settle down. Let's keep to the right. It's a problem, the quicker you drive, and when you suddenly hit a boulder that you didn't see, the more effect it has. So, what's available in this airdrop? Okay, we have a jack screw, which is useful. And some scrap metal that we'll just leave for now. I'm going to grab some of that fuel, but only a bit of it. I don't need a lot. I'd kind of rather leave it on the map for some other vehicles that are struggle with fuel a bit more. Question is, has that given us a better scan on the map of where we're going? And yes, it has. Oh my. That looks, um. <laughs> that looks interesting. Now I'm wondering if it was better this way, because that is an elevation and a half. Crikey. I. Yeah. I mean, looking at that, I'm guessing. There's a tree there. Trees here. This looks a bit tricky. Possibly that way. Okay. That's going to be fun. Ah, uh, no, we've got a bridge. I don't know how many spare parts we have, but I used an absolute metric ton of them back there. And I've got a feeling we could really do with being able to build this. Oh, we've just got enough. Look, 75 and we have 100. Oof. And that is why I don't repair the truck unless I kind of need to. Because if I had to use spare part repair to repair this thing, I might not have quite had enough for that. Uh, that looks a bit muddy, doesn't it? Let's go diff lock. Sometimes things look worse than they do on the map, and sometimes they look less worse than they do on the map. That's a trap, if ever I saw one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hang on, let's try... Let's test the depth of this. I don't like the look of this. Yeah, look how red that is, though. There's a lip on this side, which with a bit of anchor in, we might get up. Let's see how much it plunges the front end in. If we can get it so that it bites on the wheel instead of the front of the truck. There you go. No way you were doing that without an anchor. Yeah, I'm going to stick it in a low gear here because we kind of need to just ease it up here. 
we go right or do we go left? That's the main question. There's a massive boulder in the middle of this slope. Right here. Just off the right wheel. And we need to go around that. And we're on the edge. Uh, I'm going to get an anchor down. See, look at the distance Mike makes. Like, normally it'd be here. But with Mike around, you can just do crazy by anchor points. Now they will stay for the duration of this expedition. As soon as we exit the expedition, they'll go. But in theory, you can put an anchor down and then other vehicles, you can use it. But only for this expedition. It's not like a permanent map change. Now I'm thinking we can either go that way or we can go right to that tree. If we go this way. We can come in at that angle, which looks a bit easier. You see, on the map, this looks really nasty, but here, it really isn't so bad. Uh, definitely a anchor required territory. And again, double the anchor usage is just phenomenally useful. I kind of feel like the mechanic is almost necess uh, necessary for most expeditions. Now up here, so we'll get this will complete the expedition, which gives us 8,800, which I am not going to cry about. And while we're up here, we can take a look. What the? That is hilarious. That is basically, like, got a hat on it. It's like a Mexican cactus. <laughs> well, oh. Somebody gone camping. Interesting. I wonder if that'll be uh, an objective later. Nothing's pinging for me. There's a bridge all the way up there. Which we don't have enough materials to bother driving to and unlocking. But I reckon just looking around there should have unlocked... Oh, that's, that's given us great visibility. So there's something up here, ancient knowledge. Uh, which is one of the uh, contracts available. Just find the ritual site and scan it with a drone. Worth 10k. And then another one all the way over there. So we could, perhaps, as soon as we've come all this way, it would probably make sense to push on and do this. We can't do that bridge, like I say, because we don't have enough. We've, we've already made, I think, two bridges so far. <laughs> but that's got to be worth doing. The next time we're up here, we can get the other half of it, and that's another 10k. Yeah, that's uh, quite boggy. This looks like it might have a, a large crack in it there, but we can go this way, I think. And I'd like to head straight over here. This is actually not too bad. I need to not go too quickly because our tyres are a bit deflated. I think I'm going to stick it to a low gear. And just grind it. Now we're not tracking the mission, so it's not visible. So what we need to do is... Change over to ancient knowledge, track... Oh, I can't track it, you scumbag! I can't track it, look, it's disabled for some reason. Oh, I didn't spot that. Well, that's disappointing, because that, that is the area right there. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Uh, right, let's change back to the Action, and we'll go and get that one done instead. 
Okay, so this thing is not as capable, but it does have the parts that we need. The problem with this truck is it's very weak engine until we get the upgrades for it. So its climbing capacity is very small. And we've got to go all the way up there. Okay. <laughs> Best truck ever. Should we go down a slightly more favorable angle? Let's try that way. You see, in theory, it has a lot of clearance from its front wheel to the bumper. But in practice, it just gets stuck a lot. And when it does get stuck, it is just like an insect on its back. And that is a gap that I don't like the look of. And we shall go... ...this way. Remember I said to you, I'll probably regret not getting the extended winch. Yeah, almost regretted it then. That, this can't get itself up here without a winch, I don't think. to drive over historic ruins like this or is the <laughs> surely there's got to be some protection laws and <laughs> just driving a truck straight through these ruins okay portable meteor station has been delivered wonderful now we can get temperature and pressure and wind readings up here on the tower careful here because it, it's very easy to make this thing go head over heels like it tried to do then I can't remember if there's a, a lift kit or at least a wide wheelbase version something that would give it like a double rear axle tire would probably give this thing a lot more stability Yeah, I'm asking too much from it. There we go. Now, can we fit through there? That's the question. Or should we just go round this way? We're not going to drive too quickly because those rocks will ping us off. I think we're good. Right, I think that may complete the expedition, so I'm just going to skip over to the Don. Uh, because what I wanted to do... I don't want this mission to finish. I believe there was an upgrade about here I think so I think what we can probably do is I'm hoping that we can drive 
that way. Now this thing does start with two thirds of fuel tank. Oh my god, what is all that about? I wasn't dreaming. That's crazy. Why does this thing not start with a, fuel, a full tank of fuel? bit of terrain. It is horrendous. That water has gouged the ground out. It's a funny sounding vehicle, this one. Mind you, they all sound a bit rubbish, but this one sounds weird. It almost sounds like a, a Dyson. <laughs> Like a, I don't know, a, a combination between a vacuum cleaner and a hairdryer. It's weird. I have said this on my streams that the, the graphics in this game are absolutely wonderful. Like, they genuinely are. The terrain, the lighting, fantastic. And then the audio is just in a completely different division. It's it's almost like a audio for a demo version of the game. Oh, we'll put this in for now until we've sorted the audio out. Seriously, guys? What's this? Dried up gorge. I mean, high quality photographs of dried up gorge. Can you drive us along the gorge and take some pictures? Okay. That's probably back that way. And I really want to get this upgrade and see what it is. That's a mission for another day, I think. I kind of find when you're talking about vehicle simulators that the audio is crucial. Absolutely crucial to the emotive feeling that you get when you drive. And not only that, you, if you can hear what the engine's doing, you can also predict whether it's starting to struggle, whether it's over revving, you know what I mean? You, you just need the audio. It's, but this game is like the opposite of OMSI. Like in OMSI, the graphics are, by modern standards, very basic. But the audio is still superb. <laughs> and this game is the opposite. I just have to say that with the amount of millions you're making from Snow Run and Expedition, just spend some cash, hire a great audio engineer, and get it sorted. Okay, I don't see the upgrade just yet. It was a little boat, wasn't it, and a campfire. Hopefully, we'll see it shortly. Come on, turn. It's not where I thought it was. It's just further round. I'm sure it was here. Yes, I think we was over there looking at it, so maybe it was just around the corner here. Aha! There we go. Alrighty then, what is it? This is a fine-tuned gearbox. Let's have a look at the list for the Step 310E. Very nice. Definitely worth having that. And while we're on this side, we will just quickly have a look. Okay. Let's jump back into the other vehicle and finish that off. Right, let's deliver the meteor station. 
I think that will end the expedition. Future wind. There we go. Right, so 4,900 from the government. We took less than 100 damage, which is nice. Uh, we also took less than 50 damage from the tire swap. So we got a bonus 1,500 out of that, which is pretty sweet. And we've unlocked the gateway to Coconino, which is the next place. For a grand total, including the items sold that we have on board, of 17,500. And 10. Not bad for a day's work. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, we did quite a lot, though. We did a nice little expedition, and we also uh, managed to explore down that canyon, got some more stuff done. Money is starting to build up now. We've got a nice upgrade unlocked as well, and we've now got the road to Coconino unlocked. That completes all the uh, objectives for the Arizona government. So next time, we'll move on to what is now available. Fantastic stuff. Hope you're enjoying the series. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Until the next time, take care, guys, and happy trucking.